going down in bar. Stryker got there in the end. The thing about this match, crew, is like, no matter how. You, know, you can hurt your opponent all you want, but the thing is, you've got to have an advantage over the other guys as well. That can go in your favour, also, it can go against you. And of course, also, the, the point of the Lumber Jacks is so you can't run away. A jackal and Randy try to run, they throw him back in, although it's very unlikely Randy's going to run. The cheers are about to turn to tears. And here they come. Potato, making fun of his, of, uh, of the way he talks. It got to the point the jackal could take no more and attacked Randy Valentine during commentary. Oh, a shot here. Oh, fierce chop from Randy Valentine. Look at a good strategy by Randy, throwing him out so the lumberjacks can get involved. And here come oh, all of the Lumberjacks are now fighting amongst each other, the Trident trying to protect the Jackal. The Jamal Valley all over him. The Trident there. You know what, we could actually see two different matches here. 
<laughs> we can see Randy and the Jeff are one and uh, visit the end of this pursuit. But we can also see the Lumberjacks squaring off against one another here. Just seem not exactly dressed for fighting, but... Just trying to be classes all this way. Trying to do me. Said classic. Yeah. Oh. The crowd behind Randy Valentine, if you can hear. And oh, the, the Jack will take advantage here. And again, the Lumberjacks. Oh, now Ian, the Lumberjacks are job is to pick the guy up, throw him back in the ring, not beat the whole hell out of him on the floor. This thing is trying to help his, his friend, his long time tag partner, Randy Valentine, out here. So where is this going to go? I look forward to this. Lumberjacks. We need Lumberjacks for the Lumberjacks. <laughs> Lumberjack, Lumberjack. Randy, uh, Ryan Howell loses his control, God help him. Mark is getting fed out of the crowd here. The place is deafening here. And this is not even the main event, we've still got plenty more to come. Listen to the audience, says it all. Jackal. Using the corner to his advantage. Jackal set him up here. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Oh, there's that close line. That's his, what's one of his trademark maneuvers. And look at this now, Mr. News trying to get involved in the ring. This has got to be a bit more emotional for him, a bit more closer to home for him. Of course, the big palace of a lot of history here in SWE. Jackal would like nothing more to beat Randy Valentine here at Adler. Look at all of that humiliation and embarrassing behind him. If I was the Jackal, I would push you Randy Valentine for an argument with the rest. Definitely. Right, Hamlin definitely could have been a shot there. Block and a shot, Randy coming back in this. Another one. CJ just wasted too much time, son. Randy's right in the new one in the corner here, now Randy's in the corner. Full steam ahead! Who was he trying to do with a splash? <laughs> Who's he trying to do with a splash? Oh! We know what's oh. going on! Here we go! Draco! Oh! Draco Buster! Look at this kitchen! Sorry, sorry, the chat was both <laughs> being biased. <laughs> Randy, full in control here. He's going for the figure four. We saw this last night. With the jackal cap. I'm not seeing a dismay on the faces of the Trident and everything else in the background there. Yeah, they're never happy. Look at this, the London guys are trying to help. It's like some sort of human tug of war here! I've never seen this before! In all the Lumberjacks men I've seen, I've never seen anything like that. Each Lumberjack trying to help the other competitor. This has to be the most dysfunctional Lumberjack match I've ever seen. <laughs> it's very interesting. And you remember this was made by Billy Strachan. One of the PAs for the paper. Double close line, both men. The stipulation I should have, not the match, the stipulation. Whoa! Whoa. Oh, well, just Phoenix! Oh my goodness, my job! Again, doubles our money's worth! The Lumberjacks are trying to keep just Phoenix and Magnus apart! And they're taking out the Lumberjacks! They forgot all the everywhere! Oh, hell's breaking loose! My God! Bodies and carnage everywhere! Oh, ladies 
by Magnus or one of the training members. Kevin Rollins and Chris Saint going at it. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. I can't talk! Oh. There's so much adrenaline! There's so much going on! Oh, oh. What's the heart attack! Randy needs to in the ring! Back right, to the match! <laughs> Take a spin in! Jeez, get out of the ring! Oh! Ian, we've lost the lumberjacks! Oh, oh, oh goodness! This is now just a one on one. You know what, I'm stunned. I have no idea what happened. Okay, this is just broke. Oh, out. Oh, the lumberjacks are spinning amongst each other, trying to get against them. Oh, hell, broke place. Thank you. They were trying to split Magnus and Phoenix up, but we're looking at the big end. The big end elbow. He hits it. Could be over. Oh, 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 oh. The jackal went over. The jackal oh. Oh. The jackal small one. The, the jackals in his sticks. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, the jackal. The jackal. Oh, I'm not going to get it.